What's up, Fit Fam? Been a minute. Sorry about that. Just been a little busy trying to get a few things going for uh, the body firm. But um, anyways, I uh, I've had a few people who have kind of been lone wolfing, experimenting with some, a few things, uh, particularly carb cycling. So I know I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I thought I'd give a quick how-to uh, and description on carb cycling because it's one of those things that can be beneficial, but if you do it wrong, it's only gonna make you miserable, especially uh, during your workouts. So basically, uh, carb cycling is a, uh, obviously a reduction in your carbohydrate intake uh, because carbohydrates are your usually usually your first uh, your body's first choice for for energy. So if you have an excess of carbs, they tend to get stored as fat uh, easily. So a lot of people cut back on the carb source uh, carb sources so that they can uh, deplete their carbs a lot easier so that you can get to fat burning a lot quicker in your workouts. Now, the, uh, the caveat with that is if you mess it up, your workout turns to crap, your energy level goes in the tank, and you know you end up, you can do a lot more damage if you, if you aren't doing it properly. So, there are basically two ways to do carb cycling or low carbs. No, I don't believe in all the Atkins and all that nonsense. That's mainstream garbage. Uh, the best two ways to do it is the approach which is going to take a lot of effort which is basically the minimum sustainable carbs so basically every day you take in the minimum amount of carbs that you can to keep your energy level up so that basically you're trying to gauge exactly how many carbs you use in a day for your energy level to stay consistent uh, or you can do a ketogenic diet where you basically just cut out carbs to like 5% of your total daily intake and uh, to get your body to run only on fat. Your body will only run on fat if you have a very, very, very low amount of carbs. You're not going to run on fat. Now you can still burn fat, but your body's not going to use fat as the primary source if you have... 15, 20% carbs. So just going low carbs is not gonna make your body run on fat. Those are misconceptions, all right? You can get to depleting your carbs quicker uh, with lower uh, carbs, but fat will not be your primary energy source with higher amounts of carbs, okay? Just so we're clear on that. So with minimal, if you're doing minimal uh, sustainable carbs, basically you're trying to take in the least amount of carbs that you can without crashing, which means that your energy level stays up, your uh, your mood stays up, because carbs actually help with uh, your mood, and uh, you're not crashing and feeling, feeling bad. So obviously that takes some trial and error to see how many carbs that you're, you're burning throughout the day, and then it takes some fluctuation based on your workouts through the day assuming that you're working out, which most people who watch my videos are at least working out some, somewhere. So if one day you do weights, let's say one day you go in and do like an arm workout or a chest workout or upper body workout, and then the next day you go and do high intensity cardio for an hour, boot camp or something, your carb intake is gonna fluctuate, or your carb expenditure is gonna fluctuate, therefore your carb intake needs to fluctuate. So you have to trial and error to see <clears throat> exactly how many carbs you can take in and still maintain your energy level. Now, uh, just kind of a rule of thumb, I'd say uh, about 100 grams of carbs per 100 pounds of body weight if you have a low body fat percentage. So, you know, if you're 140, 150 pounds, you probably want to start at a minimum of 150 uh, carbs per day. 
and that's not on your days that you're doing high intensity cardio on those days you want to go up and technically it's the day before because you're not actually uh, utilizing the carbs from the day that you're uh, the day that you're in you got to have those carbs already stored up in your body before that day and if you don't eat anything the day before if you go like zero carbs you go like super low carbs one day and then try to get up and work out in the morning I mean you need at least 12 to 18 hours for your body to process that and be able to use it for energy <clears throat> 12 to 18 hours so minimum sustainable carbs is something that you got to play with it's got to be good carbohydrates so you want to stick to anything that has uh, and then also you obviously want to watch your sugar intake because the goal here is obviously to lose weight and to get leaner now let me say this so that you know where I'm coming from uh, carb cycling is just as likely to make you lose muscle as fat all right if you're losing weight if you're at a plateau doing carb cycling you're just as likely to lose muscle as you are fat however you can still look better with less muscle mass so when you see people at their leanest that's not when they're uh, when they look the leanest that's not necessarily when their body fat is the lowest because when you're when you're at your leanest you're dehydrated you're depleted you're not necessarily you're, you're actually burning through your muscle you're actually depleting your muscle because your, your body starts to break down your muscle to use for energy you're gonna get weaker you're gonna have less energy and this is common among you know people who compete in bodybuilding so looking your best doesn't necessarily mean your body fat is gonna be at its actual lowest so it's okay to lose a little bit when it's time a little, a little bit of muscle when it's time to get ready for beach season now if you're uh, the type of person who has a very high metabolism which is where your body type comes into play you need to know whether you're endomorph ectomorph or mesomorph if you're an ectomorph meaning it's hard for you to put on weight you got a really fast metabolism then you probably don't necessarily need to do a lot of carb cycling. If you don't put on weight e easily, you probably need to, when you're cutting or trying to cut weight, need to increase your carbs, actually. You need to be on high carbs and maybe, and then decrease your fat because fat takes more calories to burn. Okay, so there are very various ways, you know, there are several ways to skin a cat and you gotta find which one works best with your body uh, a lot of people cut on high carbs not necessarily on low carbs low carbs is mostly for just losing weight in general or if you got to lose a bunch of weight real quick that's generally what, what low carbs has and it actually works but it's easy to lose as much or more muscle as you are losing fat so you have to be mindful and pay attention to what you're doing getting on the scale doing regu regular body composition tests so that you know where you are because uh, it may not, uh, your body fat may not necessarily move in a direction that you expect it to, but that's why you gotta also take your measurements. It's complicated, man, the human body's complicated. So with carb cycling, you wanna stick to uh, complex carbohydrates want to stay away from the simple sugars you also want to monitor your sugar intake because the more sugar intake you have the less lean you're going to be so cut back on sugar as much as possible cut it almost all the way out as much as you can cut back on straight sugars all right you may even have to cut back on your fruit intake uh, because obviously fruit has you know has sugar in it now if you're doing a lot of cardio which you should if you're trying to get leaner you need to up your cardio intake if you're doing a lot of cardio, uh, <clears throat> you can keep something like bananas in there. Um, obviously, everything in moderation. Probably keep your total sugar intake for the day uh, around 50 to 75 uh, grams for the day. And try to keep that uh, added sugars to an absolute minimum. And that's the way you get lean. Also, your meal should be fairly simple and repetitive. Because a lot of different things, your body react, reacts to it in different ways. And there's no way 
if you got this crazy rotating menu that you're gonna really know what's working and what's not. You gotta keep it fairly, really basic. You know, get some sweet potatoes, <coughs> some mixed veggies or broccoli or something like that. Uh, Cause broccoli has been shown to help increase your, your HGH production. Chicken uh, has been proven to help increase that as well. So those are the things that you want to uh, have regularly in your diet. Sweet potatoes, broccoli, chicken. Uh, obviously you can um, have some fish in there as well for some good healthy fats. And take your omegas, man. I tell you what, a lot of people skip on that. This, that's, a, that's like a cheap pill, man. That's a cheap pill to get leaner and losing a couple pounds. Take omegas for a day. You take two omegas a day, every day for a week if you're not taking them, and watch the difference. Watch the difference on your scale, watch the difference just in your body in general. Uh, those omegas, those, uh, those healthy fats make a huge difference. And then uh, obviously, because if you're doing carb cycling, your muscles are gonna be at risk, you don't wanna skip on your weight training. Don't just go into all out cardio mode because you're definitely gonna burn all your muscle because now you're already on low carbs, now you're doing a, a ton of cardio, now you're depleting your, uh, your carbohydrate stores, your muscle glycogen, and now all you're doing is burning through muscle faster than you're burning through fat. Because your body's seeing that it doesn't need muscle. The muscle's a hindrance to what you're trying to do to your training. So your body's gonna start to break it down and uh, use it for energy for you to keep running. So if you wanna do it, uh, if you wanna do some, some carb cycling, you gotta start off in a deficit. So you need to figure out what your, uh, ba your um, basal metabolic rate is, how many calories you're burning during the day. Um, and then you need to set a baseline for your carb intake. Like I said, I use the base mine on uh, my weight. <clears throat> and uh, the lowest I'll go is maybe 150 uh, grams of carbs a day. That's on the low end. I can't do that for several days in a row. So if I'm doing weights and not a lot, burning a lot of calories in a day, I can do that. Uh, but if I'm doing cardio, I can't really do that. If I'm doing some high intensity cardio, uh, I can't really do that. I might get away with it for a day, but not much more than a day. And then I'm crashing. So you know whether you did it right or wrong if you start to crash. If you start crashing, uh, you know, you, uh, you did it wrong. So it's just some quick tips. It really does work guys so don't be afraid of you know don't be afraid of you know me saying that you might lose some muscle because I guarantee you how you look and your actual body composition don't necessarily match your beach season at your leanest you're not gonna be at your your uh, lowest body fat percentage because you will have shed some muscle which has a, a, a bigger detriment to your body fat percentage than, um, than just burning, you know, burning some fat. When you burn muscle, you take away your muscle content. It has a huge impact on your overall body composition. So, hope this video is helpful for you guys, man. You guys uh, like the video, and I'll keep making them. Send me some comments. Holla at your boy. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.